creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you when I'm uploading a new video. And if you're interested in following me on social media, those links are in the description box below. Just tap on the title of this video and it'll drop right down. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I'm bringing to you a DIY using these clay pots that you can get at just about any hardware store. You can get them at the Dollar Tree from time to time. They come in a four pack. You can get them at Walmart, fairly inexpensive in the garden section. They range from a dollar to 44 cents for the mini size. So today I'm gonna to be showing you what I do with these clay terracotta pots. This is such a budget friendly DIY and the outcome is amazing. And it is one of those DIYs that you can do to suit any decor style just by switching up the colors. I can't wait to show you what I do with these. This DIY is so budget friendly and it's gonna cost you under $10 to make. So let's not waste any more time, let's jump into it. For this DIY, I picked up eight of these round wood plaques and I picked them up in two different sizes, the three inch and the four inch. You can get these at Hobby Lobby when they're on sale, two for a dollar. I also picked up four of the square wood plaques and I picked these up in the three and four inch sizes as well, two of each size. To glue these wood plaques together, I will be using some of Elmer's wood glue. It's one that I had on hand that I got at Walmart for fairly inexpensive. I think I paid just a couple of dollars for it. I have heard that Dollar Tree has a wood glue, don't know how good it is, but for this DIY, I really, because I'm using wood, wanted to make sure it was good and glued together. I'm gonna glue together the three inch and the four inch round plaques, centering the smaller one on top of the larger one. And I'm gonna do this four times, giving me four sets of plaques. I'm also gonna do the same with the square plaques, centering the smaller one on top of the larger one. Once you've got all the wood plaques glued together, you should be left with four round and two square. And honestly, if you don't wanna add square and you wanna do them all round, you can. I just kinda of wanted to add a bit of character and switch it up a bit, so I thought I'd do the square ones as well. Now the fun part is the painting. I will be using this Waverly wax paint in the color of antique. You can use this as a stain if you'd like. You can apply it and then wipe the excess off and it will give you a nice stained look. I personally just love the dark, rich, rustic look it gives when you paint the wood with this without even wiping off the excess. So I'm gonna give all my wood plaques a good coating of this wax paint by Waverly. Okay, so next you're gonna need a total of nine mini terracotta pots. Like I said, I got these at Walmart for 43 cents a piece in the garden section. If you go anywhere else, like Joann's, Michael's, you're gonna pay over two or three dollars each for them. So your best bet is just to go to Walmart. I'm gonna glue these together, and yes, I am using a wood glue because I have it out, it's gonna work, it's a good glue for this. And I'm gonna stack these pots on top of each other. And so I'm gonna do four for the first set here. Now I'm gonna take three of the pots and glue and stack them the same way. Then taking my last two pots, I'm gonna do the same thing and this will give me three different sizes. To paint these pots, I'll be using Waverly's chalk paint in the color of white. This is a matte finish. I personally prefer a matte finish. I'm not big on a gloss finish. If you wanna use a gloss finish, you can. I prefer also using the Waverly paint because it really is a thicker acrylic paint and I think that you really get what you pay for. It costs a bit more than like the folk art and the apple barrel, but it really is gonna take less coats for coverage. Because these are a terracotta pot, I'm gonna do more than one coat because it is, it just kind of sucks up the paint, I feel like, and so I'm gonna give all three of these a real good coat of this white paint. Once I've got all of the pots good and painted with a nice solid base coat of the white, each of the pots has this lip on them. I figured that I would take the Waverly wax paint and kind of accent that lip with the wax paint. What I love about this is that this wax paint kind of has that sheer look. You can kind of see through it. It's not like a solid acrylic paint. And I really love that. I feel like it gives it a different look, a different feel. 
doing this farmhouse look that I've been doing here recently, it really is one of my favorite new looks. It kind of gets away from that black chip enamel look. I love that too, but I am such an earth tone person and I just love, love, love the look of the browns and the whites together. I think it's a whole new farmhouse look. I'm gonna do this to all three sets of these pots. Again, using some of the Elmer's wood glue, because it's what I have on hand and it works really well with the terracotta pots and the wood plaques, I'm gonna place some of this glue on each end of these pots. Then I'm gonna place these pots in the center of one of the sets of wood plaques that we glued together. And in this set, it happens to be the square set. Then I'm gonna take the other square set and set it on top of the pots. I'm going to repeat this with the other two sets of pots, placing the glue on each end and centering them on the remaining plaques, which are my round plaques. And I'm going to place a set on the bottom and on the top. And guess what? It is that time of year where Dollar Tree is starting to stock these cotton stems again. So you're going to want to keep your eye open for them. And when you see them, snatch them up. Because when I saw them, I snatched up about 10 of them for some upcoming farmhouse DIYs. Using some wire cutters, I'm gonna snip off just the cotton bud itself. These lamb ears are another item that I like to keep in stock in my stash here at home. You can find these at Walmart for 97 cents a bunch, which is a fantastic buy. I love the color of them. The green is just so soft and it really goes well with a lot of farmhouse DIYs. Again, using my wire cutters, I'm gonna disassemble these just to get them down to the leaves themselves. Using some hot glue, I'm gonna glue down three of these leaves right where the seam of the two pots meets here. And then to cover up where the leaves are all glued together, I'm gonna put the cotton ball right there. I wanted to use these lamb ears because I feel like this green is such a subtle green and it's gonna give this DIY just the touch of color that I'm looking for. I'm gonna do this to all three of the candle holders and I'm gonna place the lamb's ears and the cotton in different spots on each of these pillars because I don't want it to seem repetitious and I think it just kind of adds character to it if they each look a bit different. These are such a budget-friendly set of candle holders. They cost me exactly $9.93 to make all three of these. Yeah, I guess not including the paint. And I did pick up three of the LED candles from the Dollar Tree. So if you wanna include the paint and the candles, I would say it was right at about $14. I love the outcome of these. Again, these are a very versatile set of candle holders that can really be done to suit any decor style just by simply changing up the paint. I'm obsessed. These colors, are just screaming at me and if I sound like a broken record I probably am because I want to switch everything to this decor style because I just love the feel of it. I hope you all enjoyed today's DIY candlesticks using these terracotta clay pots. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 6,000 likes because each and every one of those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow by helping YouTube to notice me a bit more and then they'll put me on their recommended list. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.